OK, so let me give me the control. I will check the situation. Visibility graphics. Let's turn all components. And let's turn off the NAS. OK. Let's activate score box for building A1. Apply. Let's turn off the score box. Apply. OK. Uh, so the problem what I found with other uh, group members, we have an issue with the uh, roof. I see the same problem is here, so I will try to go and fix it. And also we don't have uh, the beams on, on your roof. So I will try to guide through the process. So we have one lecture, yes, today. OK, so let's uh, type here work in progress. Yep. OK, structure plans, structure plans. Let's create additional structure plan for elevation four meters. So now we will create roof frame constructions. So go to view. Uh, click plans, structure plans. OK, uncheck the check mark, uh, select four meters. Click OK. Go down, remove view template and uh, change uh, the name. Change name to work in progress. OK, apply. And no, 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 no. It asks, oh, do you want to rename the elevation? In this case, no. Let's uh, change view range. View range. So for roof construction, uh, the top should be unlimited. Uh, cut plane, let's make five meters. And bottom and le level, let's make uh, minus 500. Yeah, minus 500 also. Apply, OK. Um, Good, so let's zoom in. Uh, let's activate visibility graphics. Uh, type here framing, framing. Uh, put the framing check mark here. Type um, beam or oh, yeah, beam. The, um, yeah, activate beam system. Click apply. OK. For work, we will use uh, section. So let's create work in progress section. Click on sections. OK, let's create a coordination section scale 1 to 50. OK, it's suitable type and draw the section on uh, axis 1, 2. Axis one two and just draw the section line. Yep. Now it's not visible and let's go back in properties style location. Let's go to the view template, change view template, uh, click none, click OK, change the name, uh, work in progress. Uh, click apply. Change far clipping to uh, clip the line. Clip the line, OK. And uh, we can change far uh, clip offset to one meter. One meter. 
apply. Good. Uh, alternative option is you can set score box. Let's try to set score box. Building A1. Building A1. Apply. OK, so it automatically uh, it calculates the distance. And uh, discipline, set the discipline to structure. So we can see it in structure view, structure, apply. Next one, uh, go to visibility graphics, activate view, uh, go to filters and disable all filters. Click OK. Good, click on the uh, section view, click the right mouse and go to view, go to view. In this view, go down and uh, select uh, face filter none. Face filter none. Mm, visibility graphics. All. Activate all. And type mass. Dis disactivate mass. Go to annotation categories. And type all. Click on all. Double click on check mark. And click apply OK. Mm -hmm. So I think it's better to to set bar clipping manually. Let's um, uh, check the score box to none and let's uh, set it to one meter. So here I don't see insulation part of your uh, foundations. Do you have it? Yeah. Uh, can you go to 3D model? Uh, click on this uh, solution part. Ah. ah, it's not structure, so it's not showing instruction. Good, it's OK. So in structure view, we can see only structure, uh, structure uh, components. OK, zoom out. Um, zoom in. And here we can see our reference lines are here, so it means our slope is not correct. So let's go to annotate. Let's place slope. And put it on uh, this line, OK. Uh, click. Escape. Uh, click, uh, double click. Yeah. OK, escape. So now we see our slope in uh, percents. I would like to see it in uh, degrees. So select this uh, slope arrow. Click on slope arrow, click at the type. Make duplicate. Delete percents in two. And instead of uh, this word type slope, now just slope. Space, go to search and open character map. Open. Select textile ISO, ISO type, ISO CP or. Click and select Europe. Uh, EU. ISO CP EU. Down. Yep, this one. Click on the degree symbol. Select. Uh, select it in here. Click copy. And go to the slope. Click Ctrl V. Click OK. Go down. 
click on units percentage. Uh, click percents and select degree. Click OK. Apply. OK. OK, so we can see it's uh, 15 degrees. Select the roof. And type 15 here. Apply. OK, select another part of roof. Type 15. Apply. OK. Now zoom in uh, the, the top part of the roof. Click on the roof. Select move. Snap to the top point of roof and move it to this reference uh, reference point. Yes. Now let's go to the side and fix another roof. Yeah. And select this roof and move this roof to this line. Okay. Escape, click save. <laughs> now we will the measure tool. Let's measure the thickness of yellow part so we know what kind of um, beams to use for our roof construction. Yes, zoom in. And just click here and here. So 275, OK, approximately 275 escape. Zoom in the top part of yellow insulation part. Zoom in. So here we have the PVC, a moisture barrier, and use tab and select reference plane here. Not here, but below the uh, the blue part, the violet part. Reference plane. Always read what it's uh, telling in the bottom corner. Yeah. So it's reference roof as zero line. Okay. Click escape. Now let's go to. Uh, the plan view. Go to structure. Let's set. OK, select uh, roof S09. Roof S09, click OK. Uh, activate visibility graphics. Type roof. Activate roof, select transparent, uh, move slide to the end, 100%. Move, move, OK. Uh, pattern, click on pattern, remove visibility, uncheck visibility. OK. OK, apply. So now we have the corners of the roof. Now let's activate beam system. Uh, click close. Uh, select rectangle. Click on uh, yeah, snap here. Zoom out and snap not here, here in the middle. We are making the half part. Yes, snap here. OK, escape. Uh, escape. Select beam direction line. Select uh, this line, line tool. Uh, find the midpoint of uh, this pink line. And draw line. Till next, so another one. OK, so this will be our direction line of our beams. And our beams will be calculated from the center of uh, our roof escape. Escape. 
Ah, you didn't finish. You need to click on the yeah on our escape. Yeah. Once more time, escape. Good. Now let's try to snap our uh, line. This one line. So uh, use the line tool. Uh, go to uh, section view. Zoom out. And zoom in. Oh, and select this line. Yeah. Go back in the and click on the pink line. Zoom in. Click. OK, it seems it's in correct position. Click escape. So now fixed distance, uh, go to the fixed distance uh, in fixed distance. <laughs> the fixed spacing. Uh, select 600. Why we are cho choosing 600? Because in most cases insulation material is 600 and it nicely fits between the two beams, uh, rafter beams, so you can go to internet page and we can open the uh, insulation material page rock wool type rock wool rock wool enter and uh, yeah open maybe this one um to, 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 okay let's choose this one and uh, let's uh, select different language Irish, do we have Ireland? It's in euros and so on. So mm -hmm. India, Ireland, okay. Italy, India. Click on Europe. It's a little bit easier to find it. And let's see which one has English, 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 English. Only one, yes. No, okay, okay. Let's uh, se select this one. Mm, allow. Resources and tools. Uh, let's see products. Click on products. And uh, roof insulation. And roof that pitched roof insulation and pitch roof insulation. And let's go down and see the dimensions of these uh, roof materials. OK, so here we can see the. Nice image. Uh, and you can click on. Uh, maybe this one. Yeah, so if you see the image, so the insulation go between rafter beams and also additional layers are placed to make nice uh, roof insulation. Let's go down and let's try to see the specifications and sizes. And uh, so here we see the weight factor is 400, uh, 600 and the length is 1.2 meters. And thickness goes from uh, five five centimeters to one hundred eighty millimeters. So you need to put several layers to get needed thickness. So the dimensions for our roof uh, comes from these dimensions. Okay, let's go back and read it. Uh, OK, so we made all these changes. Now we can click finish. Ah, uh, change the beam type, change beam type. Uh, yeah, I see it's purged, so we don't have needed beams. So open a template file 
and let's uh, insert the beams. Click new. New project. Click OK. Go to families. Uh, families, families, go to structure framing, structure framing down. Uh, framing down. And. Uh, timber, timber, yeah, the last one expand. OK, click the right mouse. Right mouse as click save. Save in our BIM project location. Click BIM. And documentation, maybe I'll share. Or maybe to share folder. Share. Click save. And now go to your project. And go down and find structure. Structure framing, families, timber, click the timber part, the right mouse, reload, select it from shared, click open, overwrite existing. Uh, and parameters, the second option. Uh, expand, let's see if we have the list of all. Yep, we have the list. OK, now uh, go to the view. Use tab and uh, select beam system. Click tab. Several times, small uh, the mouse cursor on the visible line, and several times click tab, tab, tab. Yeah, now beam system selected. Repeat. Yep, select. Change beam type. 80 millimeters weight and a a a two seven five. Apply. Nice. OK, now let's use mirror tool. Mirror. Select the access line. Yes. Nice. Escape. Now select structure. Uh, select beam. OK, beam 145. OK, it suits us. Zoom out and draw the beam on axis 1C. Zoom, always zoom in so it snaps directly to the axis. Now you snap to wrong position. No, it doesn't snapping. You need to snap, use tab. Uh, click select uh, option and put the check marks on all the positions. Now move in. It doesn't snap. Uh, maybe activate the snapping. Try one more time. No, uh, deactivate. Ah, uh, we need to change reference plane. The problem is reference plane. So change reference plane to four meters. Four meters. OK, now try. Yes, now it's snapping. Nice. Click. Zoom out and draw to the another to other end. No, 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 no. To the right side. Yes, click. OK. Escape. Use. Extend tool. Click extend tool. Select the corner of the roof. Yes and click on this beam. Now first select the line of uh, the roof. Use tab. 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 Now click. 
Now click on the beam. Nice. Go to another end. Click. Click. No. Always click the side you want to leave. Escape. Uh, let's go to section view and let's check if it's nicely placed. Zoom out. Zoom in. OK, it looks in correct position. Select this uh, beam. Use mirror tool. Zoom out. Select the axis line. OK, zoom in. Select copy tool. Select top midpoint. Yeah, 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 mental point. Click, zoom out. Uh, zoom out, zoom in in this position. Hold shift, hold shift tool, shift and zoom in and select uh, the uh, crossing of uh, this lines. Yeah. yeah, 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 click. OK, escape. Uh, mm. Now let's go to 3D view. Select the roof. Click on the roof. Click escape. Click on the roof. And uh, type on keyboard HC, height category. OK, now we can see our beams are made not from the wood but from the concrete so we need to fix this part click on the beam click the right mouse select uh, all instances all instances select all instances in entire project uh, go in uh, materials and finishes and click the small rectangle here. We will use global uh, parameters. So go global parameters lets you to set uh, typical materials for all project. And uh, for most of components, you can set global parameter or global material or global components. And uh, in this case, you can easily change the materials. Let's say the client is not happy with concrete beams, so you can easily change it to wood beams and uh, system will automatically calculate, recalculate the quantities and the price. So it's easy to mm, manipulate the materials and get easy and quick change of all project. Click on timber one. Click OK. Now select the rafter beams, click on rafter beam. Tab, always use tab. The right mouse, select all instances. And change global material. Timber one. To modify global material, you can go to manage. And you can uh, use this globe symbol. And here you have the globe materials. So if you want to quickly change the roof material or roof framing material, you can easily change material here. And also here we have additional project parameters and additional other parameters. Click OK. Now we need to crop all of the beam components so we don't have a, a material going one going in another material so for this part we can use special tools which are in steel section so you can use the steel tools uh, it will work on concrete or timber elements so it works with structured framing and structure columns so you can uh, use 
join, meter, or cut tools. But in this case, I will use and show simplified version. Uh, so these are more advanced tools. So let's go to modify and let's use cope. In the cope, you can use multi multiply cut, so it will allow to do easy um, modify multiple components. Now I will show how to do it um, for one component, so uncheck this mark. Later you can try to uh, play with this one. So now click the object you want to modify, so after beam, and click the object, uh, another one, yeah, click this one. Uh, repeat, click this beam, and select uh, this, yeah, click escape. Now we need to change coping distance, so select uh, the beam. Go down and you need to change cope distance, so set cope distance to zero. Select another beam. Change distance to zero. If you want to modify the rafter beams or other beams, uh, which uh, we are created with uh, beam system, so like we did in last class with uh, precast slabs, so you need to uncheck the pin, zoom out, select the beam, So here is the pin. You can unpin it here or you can unpin it on the menu. So you unpin and you can change the uh, disallow join and other parameters. So in this case, we will not uh, use this option. So uh, pin it back. Let's go to the section view. Now we need to nicely uh, cut the rafter beams so we end uh, with a nice cut uh, in the middle point. So normally you should go to structure or architecture tools, go to structure tools. You select rafter plane, reference plane, and draw reference plane in, uh, you know, in the middle of the roof. Yes. OK, escape. If you want to use reference plane as uh, option like we used for the roof to set the work plane, all the reference plane which has the name will have this option. So click escape. Select reference plane. Now use tab, always tab. Move cursor. Click tab. Yes, click on reference plane. Go here and change the name. Middle of the roof. If you will not use the reference plane and uh, it's just temporary one, so don't don't put name. You can easily delete it. But if you want to. Uh, set it specifically and uh, use it for specific needs. Uh, good practice is to put the name. In the name, you can put like comment for what purpose you use this reference plane. Next part is good practice to set scope box. Uh, set scope box to building A1. A1. And subcategory, also possible to set subcategory. Let's check in the subcategory what we have here at the moment, no subcategories. So it means you can create subcategories and assign reference plane to different categories, roof, walls, and so on. So it will be easy to uh, manipulate with them. Okay, click escape. So now we will cut the beam by using reference plane and another beam by using uh, grid line. So go to modify tools. Use cut. 
click on uh, on the beam click and use uh, tab and select reference plane tab click on reference plane okay now uh, use uh, a cut tool select uh, another side beam select the grid line grid line click on grid line click escape go to 3d view and let's check if both ends cutted so here you can see the Rafter beams is nicely cut it. And you do the same steps. You use scope to cope the beams. Click, 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 escape, select, go down, change, cope distance to zero, apply, select. Change scope distance to zero. Apply. And repeat it for others. And the same goes in the bottom part. Go down uh, in the bottom part of the roof. Zoom out and zoom in to, to this part. So the same step scope. Select, click, click, escape. Select the beam, check the distance, coping distance zero. Okay, nice. Click escape. Okay, so now we have the roof. And uh, you can type here in the search and type um, framing. And select uh, roof construction plan. So here you have main beams and you can uh, organize and set uh, all the tags dimensions. In my example, I put an additional uh, beam components uh, for the roof. I show uh, all needed uh, elements in our case we can stay with simplified version and do the roof uh, simple one if you want you can try and try to practice and uh, try to model additional beam components but for basic part it's enough to show this one okay next roof architecture roof plan Roof plan. Uh, same with shadows. Uh, you should copy paste shadows. So you will do it uh, by yourself. Um, double tap on the roof. So it would be nice to see a uh, dashed line of uh, walls uh, below. So in this case, we can go down and select for the roof plan what we want to see um, show hidden lines. So in this case, it's by discipline. Let's change all so we can see all hidden lines. Click apply. OK. And now we can see even the lines from our floors. It's not a good option. How we can fix it? Uh, let's see view range. Uh, view range is set by scope box. Uh, I'll check the scope box. On, apply. and uh, go down 
uh, view range edit. And uh, instead of uh, minus 105, uh, type minus 500. Just delete one. Zero, zero. Just delete one. Apply. OK. Apply, OK. And I think in uh, roof plan we can turn off uh, floors maybe. Go to model and type floors. And just remove the floors. Click OK. OK, apply, OK. Now it looks nice. If you zoom in, you will see the uh, dashed line of our walls. So we can see uh, walls below. Use join and join the both roof. Join one roof. Click. And click another roof. Click. Escape. So the material is same, so it's nicely, nicely joined. OK, so. Based on uh, example, place all tags dimensions and additional components for the roof. If you go to 3D view. Uh, so in our case, we will have the same issue like the other components, but let's try go to architecture. Uh, select uh, roof part and we should place soffit faster and better. So let's first place fast uh, and uh, just click the top line of the roof. Yeah, and go through the perimeter of the roof. Yes, yes. So we close the roof. Uh, from uh, environment elements and we have nice nice part here escape now repeat and select uh, roof uh, gutter gutter and put the gutter on the fascia so just put uh, zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in and click this line yeah Click. Yeah. Uh, turn around and uh, do the same for other side. Escape. So here we have the gutter. Save it. You can select the gutter and you can try to maybe change different type. It's uh, how you can leave it as it is. Click on this one. Click on the gutter. Let's see in, in uh, types. OK, just one. And soft fit and click architecture. Roof. And uh, soft fit. So select soft fit four meters, four meters. Click yes. Now select uh, this one. Select uh, outer roof. Click. Yes. And select uh, uncheck room boundaries. And slope arrow. Uh, click top. So draw slope arrow from the midpoint. To the center of the roof, center of the roof. Yes. And draw the another one. Can you draw? No, just one. So the slope. Uh, 
So what it will do, it will create slope like that. We need to uh, create two soffits, so it uh, creates nice slope like this one. So in our case, um, we need to use line tool and draw the line in the middle of the roof and close this gap. Yeah, just click and close it. No, no, no. Yeah, click, go to another side. Close it here. OK, escape. Escape, escape. You didn't create the line. Escape. Zoom out, escape. And select the top lines, drag from uh, my position and to this position. Click and drag. Like this one. Yeah. Delete. Delete. Delete to these two lines. You don't need to do it from here. You can just do it from here. Click. Maybe your mouse is not providing good clicks. So mouse is important part. And now select this arrow line. Uh, change it to hey and tail slope. And slope is 15 degrees. And the half offset uh, type zero. Type apply, type OK. Go to section view and zoom out. Uh, other side. Zoom in. Uh, zoom in. OK, I see it's it's here. So now use move tool, move. And just uh, click, click here, and move down. No, no, you. Uh, yeah, move down like this one to this line. No, 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 no. Don't change angle. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe it's better move up. Bottom part move to this position up. Select, move, select button part and move up. Yep. Now use a mirror tool. OK, zoom out. Select uh, access line. Let's go to 3D view. Uh, rotate the house and check it out from the bottom part. Click shift and mouse wheel. So here you can see it's nicely close the gap. And no, <coughs> no rainwater or other elements can go inside. 